three, four, get my shoes and out the door. Five, I'm alive, six, seven, eight, feeling great. Now I'm gonna shine, life is good. I'm doing five, ten, gonna do it right and do it again, yeah. I look into the sky with all the beautiful color, but there's more than just for me, so gonna share it with another. I got to show, to give, let out, I want to sing and shout. Take a look and see a beautiful morning that turns into a beautiful evening, and together make a beautiful life. Morning everybody and welcome to today's vlog. Today is Tuesday and I have yet another baby appointment. So this is my week 40 baby appointment. Um, she's still in there. She's still enjoying her sweet, sweet time in there. So we'll go to the doctor again and get my membrane sweeped again in hopes that that will start something and... We'll see. This morning I've been listening to my push playlist and I've just been like dancing around and going up and down the stairs and walking around the counters and walking around the table and just trying to get things moving. If you know, if what we can get, if I can get her to get down, then hopefully stuff will start happening. So we'll see. We'll see what the doctor says. I'm going to get checked again today. Obviously, if she's doing a membrane sweep, she's going to check me. To see if I've made any progress, if there's been any shortening of the cervix or anything like that. So, we'll see. Hey guys, how's it going? I don't know if is this is the first clip of the day. No. It's not the first clip of the day. But I know you haven't gotten an update since uh, Jessica's appointment because I got back to work, reached into my pocket, and I had both cameras. So got a pretty good clue that Jessica didn't do too much recording while I was at work. Nope. I sent her a snapchat that was like, boop, doing much vlogging right now? No, she wasn't. Um, but we went to the appointment, and it was an appointment, <laughs> and they said, as of right now, Jessica really hasn't progressed much beyond what she was at last week. So I think it's like, what, one centimeter? Um, so the options were we could start looking at induction late options in the near future or let it play out a little bit longer. And Jess and the doctor both agreed that probably the best option right now is to wait a little bit longer. So everything looked good though. So they're going to do an ultrasound and what is it, a non-stress test? Is yeah. that what it's called? Yeah. On Thursday just to make sure everything's good make sure everything looks good and there's no reason for concern make yeah. sure baby's still happy in there yeah. um, and if that's the case and of course this is all banking on nothing happening before these milestones but so if that doesn't if the baby's not here by Thursday we'll have the ultrasound and non-stress test um, as long as everything looks good there then we'll wait till Monday and then if the baby's not here by Monday, then they will induce. induce either Monday or be setting an appointment for like the next day. So, yep. So that's where we're at, which isn't exactly what we were looking to hear, but we're it's but, close. Yeah. Could be worse. It could be. Bless you. <laughs> but uh, blood pressure was a little high, so. Gotta keep an eye on myself. Mm -hmm. But I, I haven't felt any difference, so. Yeah, and they said it was about the same as last week, but just these but past two weeks week have been a little bit higher than right. what she's typically right. at. Right. Um, and the doctor said it wasn't at a level that was concerning to her, just noticed that it was a little bit higher, high so people. that was something we should keep an eye on and make sure it didn't. We didn't develop any symptoms that indicated it had gone even right, higher. Like headaches or blurred vision. Or mm -hmm. But you really haven't had vision. headaches at all, so that's good. No, I don't. So we're still kind of just playing the waiting game. Yep. So we're home making a lasagna. Yeah, the girls have been super needy. This child is like, I knew she was going to be needy today from the morning when I was getting ready to go to work and she wanted to come with me. She has just been been a needy girl. Look, I like this shot because it looks like you're in prison and that's where I'm going to put you. <laughs> right in jail. You are super sneezy right now. 
All right, since this baby has refused to come so far, we're going to have a game night. We haven't played a game in a while, have we? A little out of focus. Like, not much, but when I saw the country ever go, now you, you, you look beautiful. Thank you. You look great. Do I look pregnant? Um, yes. I would go with yes. So I feel pregnant. So what are we playing tonight? Told you that was going to happen. We are, what? That I would feel pregnant? No, that I would go to this screen. Oh, it is Lego Harry Potter. Jessica and I like the Lego games, and we were playing Lego Batman, which we beat the good guy campaign, but we never finished the bad guy campaign, right? But then when my hard drive crashed, we think we might have lost the save. So we said, let's try Harry Potter this time. We've been watching the movies, and we're going to play the game. Wingardium Leviosa. Swish and flick. Woo, that was a flying car. All right, let's do it. So what are your thoughts after the first level of Harry Potter Lego? I like it. I think it's, I think it's gonna be fun. <laughs> My email just updated. <laughs> we really like the Lego games. Yeah. They're good multiplayer games. They like are. everybody not, can play them. Yeah. They're family friendly. They're not stressful. No. You get to take out a lot of like stress in them actually, because you just like you just go around and beat stuff. stuff up and it explodes. It feels great. Uh, but I like that it's. There's enough to them that for like someone like us, we can go around trying to collect all the different things mm -hmm. and figure out the different puzzles yeah, in the game. And... Um, but for like if you're playing with younger kids, you can just smash stuff and have fun and, and you, play through the stories yeah, and whatnot. And you, you still feel like you're accomplishing something. Yeah, you get kind of like funny little twists on the stories too. Yeah, yeah, there's some cute stuff in there. Like they go to Gringotts to the vault and they go to open Hagrid's vault and the door swings open, and there's a bunch of goblins having a disco party inside one of the vaults, and he's like, oh, and he shuts it off and then opens the next song. Not that one. Yeah. Whoops, wrong one. So, that was pretty fun. But now we're resting. It's important for an over 40-week pregnant lady to get some rest in. Literally um, been nine months pregnant. Yes. Um, but we decided to lay down a little early, and we're going to... I think watch another episode of The Muppets, which we're behind a few weeks, but I really like that show. It's no secret, if you watch the vlog, I like The Muppets. I'm a fan of The Muppets, so this show has been a lot of fun with me. And I, okay, I got it. This, this past episode, this past episode has had the best joke of the entire series so far. So spoiler alert, spoiler alert, if you're going to watch The Muppets, uh, it's the episode with Jason Bateman in it. Um, and it's a little thing, so it's not really a spoiler, but it's just the best joke that show has had so far. So the whole episode is about Kermit the Frog being stressed out in the, like, the studio. He's got all this stuff going on, and, like, he's freaking out, and I think he faints at one point or something like yeah, that. Oh, yeah. So they send him to this retreat where he's you know gonna like learn some relaxation techniques and calm himself down and there's a whole thing so that doesn't work out and he uh, goes to visit Rolf who's playing piano at this club and whatnot and Rolf explains to him that he just has you know his way of calming down and, and he likes to chew on a shoe because he's a dog and that just takes him back to a simpler time and whatnot and Kermit's like ah oh, I figured out how I'm gonna relieve my stress and so the very end of the episode is... Very sweet. Yeah, yeah. Is, he redoes his whole backyard to look like the bog. Yeah. To like a swamp. Like the swamp that he's originally from. Yes. So the episode ends with him out in his new swamp that he made to remind him of home, to help him relieve stress, and he's playing the banjo, and of course he starts playing Rainbow Connection. And so he starts... He's playing... Dun, 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 dun. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? And then, uh, out of nowhere, his neighbor goes, learn a new song, frog! And he's like, chill out, Phil! And he goes back to playing his song. And it was just so unexpected. And it was so funny. We both just died laughing when it happens. Learn a new song! It was great. It was fantastic.
Oh, someone else is tired too. Yes. Actually, Sophie, you need to get up there too. But for tonight, we're going to wrap things up. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with another one. As always, hopefully pretty soon, one of these vlogs is going to have a little baby in it. That's what we're hoping. But until then, <laughs> bye, guys. Bye, guys. If you wanna see, then come along with me, that's right. And if you want a good tomorrow, it's pretty simple, got a final life to follow. And if you do, you have future real bright. And it's a combination of consistency, come on and